Hello all my fellow star seeds and light workers. My name is Caitlin and I am a spiritual medium. Today's topic that we're going to be discussing today is all about manifestation. Most specifically, we're going to be discussing how to manifest money, but manifestation can, it's a topic that can be used for things other than money, but today we're just going to discuss manifestation of money. Anyway, I shift the camera a little bit so the camera angles um, a little bit back more, but anyway, let's get right into it. So manifestation, what is that exactly? Well, manifestation is in a way when you want to bring something into your life and you want to, well, bring it forth. And so within manifestation, this idea of attachment and non-attachment is fairly crucial. Ah, yes. Um, a, a little, a flying bug uh, just flew past. But anyway, um, it is within this idea of attachment and non-attachment where it is fairly crucial. So within attachment, you are holding on to that one thing that one idea, that one thing you want to manifest, I want to manifest money, 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 money. <laughs> and so you are holding so tightly to that idea. And in a way, by holding on to it so tightly, you're like, you're not letting it come forth. You are in a way weighing it down with, I want it, I want it, I want it. Within manifestation, it is important to release those attachments and <laughs> yes, it does seem that, um, well, we do have a rooster in uh, uh, the area. So if you hear any of that crowing, it is the rooster. <laughs> but yes, so within non-attachment, you are releasing it and allowing it to come forth. And so when it's released, it comes at you at such a speed. And so attachment, it is bogged down with all of these, well, attachments. And thus, it's, does, it comes at you at a snail speed, as the guides like to say. And when you release your attachment towards what you are trying to manifest, you allow it to come in quickly. So within manifesting money, it is important to look at this idea of the money blocks. Things that are blocking you from creating an abundance of money. And so within money blocks, it can be like, money is difficult to get and as such, I need to work, work, work. It, they are belief systems around money that are blocking you from creating that abundance within your life. So money blocks can be a multiple of things, multitude of things, but ultimately they are belief systems surrounding money. And so in a way this goes into this, it goes a bit into history. So within history of money, you know, you have this idea of the bartering or trading so goods for goods and as such that kind of shifted a little bit and ah uh, yes it, we we do have some monarch butterflies in here and one just landed on the tripod <laughs> but um yes within this um, history of money so bartering goods for goods and thus that shifting to value for value, what you find valuable, what you deem as valuable. And so goods for goods, the goods were valuable, those goods were valuable, thus they traded. And as such, within this money, it is what you place your value on. These pieces of paper, these pieces of, uh, the, I, I don't know, like a cotton mixture, I believe it is, those are what are deemed as important. And as such, the goods for goods shifted to the goods for the money. This money became of value. And as such, because it is seen as valuable, 
and to an extent a bit difficult to get, that is where these in part money blocks within society came from. So it became difficult to get because you had to do X, Y, and Z to get it. So within this idea of money, money in a way is whatever you assign value to. And so within that, it is, oh yes, if, if you do see me making any hand signs or signals, that is me receiving and speaking to the guides, the beings that I work with. And as such, yes, this is me receiving the information. But yes, within this idea of money, money, the things that you assign value to. And as such, within manifesting money, it is realizing that money is simply energy. Money is energy. Energy is very flowy. Energy is moving and as such, the money can move away from you as you spend it, but it is knowing that that money is going to come back. You spend the money, it's gonna come back. Now, it is completely, yes, it is, it is a bit understandable that there are a bit of money blocks within spending the money, getting a bit of anxiety when you hand over the money, the check, whatever you assign value to. And as such, within that, that in a way is a block because you have anxiety within get, giving it. But it is within knowing that the more, the money, the money that you give, it'll come straight back to you. Even so, it'll come straight back to you tenfold, threefold. It'll come back to you more abundantly. And so within manifesting money, it is important to look at this process within this giving and receiving. You give, you give that money lovingly, wholeheartedly, because you know that that money is going to come back to you. All right, y'all, um, I'm not going to go too far on this one topic, uh, but the law of attraction. So the guys want to know within this law of attraction. So it is uh, in a way knowing that what you put out is what you receive. But within this idea of law of attraction, it is knowing that Oh, pardon. It is unattaching from what you are trying to manifest. So if you're trying to manifest money, you would, uh, in a way, set your intention and release it. So not entirely focusing on it, like, did I get my money yet? Did I get my money yet? Is the money coming? That pushes it farther away from you, but is within non-attachment that it in a way speeds towards you. And so, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is a bit of a larger example, but it can be worked through in many different ways. But within this idea of money, these individuals that have a lot of, a lot of money. So individuals like say Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast accumulates much money from his YouTube videos and as such within his YouTube videos he directly puts it back out into the system. Within money, this idea of holding on to the money for dear life, that in a way also pushes the money that wants to come to you away from you because you are not entirely releasing that. And as such, within this idea of the Mr. Beast, in a way, he receives the money and then he puts it directly back out into the system. So he receives the energy and thus brings it back out. And that is not to say that you need to get rid of all of your money and put it all out, but it is in a way accepting that you 
receive the money and you release it not holding on to the dear to, to, to the dear money to money for dear life but it is knowing that you can freely exchange it it comes in it moves out yes i am receiving a picture like a um like waves lapping on a beach the tide comes in the tide moves out, but there's always that other wave. And so it is within this knowing that you have this energy and you can give some of that energy. And so within that, within manifesting money, money is energy. You receive the money, you give it thanks, you give it love, even even thanking the trees because that is where this paper, this uh, valuable, valuable paper comes from, thanking the trees for this, this piece of paper. And so knowing that it will come in and you can give out. So, yes within manifesting money setting your intention around it I manifest money and release that knowing that that money is going to come to you and in a way yes yes and in a way Releasing that, not focusing or harboring on this money, 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 but this knowing that it is going to come. And so, yes, that does seem to be what they wanted to relay. But yeah, money, so manifesting money, it's this manifestation method that I'm teaching you, it does not solely revolve around money. It in a way can work with many different things, many different topics, but <laughs> money just seems to be what many individuals want to manifest within the now moment. And so yeah, that's why the guys wanted to, yeah, to discuss money. <laughs> Okay, y'all, you can like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed this kind of content. I also did another video regarding labels and attachment if you want to check that out, link down below. And so, yeah, if you want to follow me on my social medias, I am Spring Cove Spirituality on Instagram and TikTok. Comment any questions you have down below and I might get to them in the next video. But yes, one last little recap here is that knowing that what you put out is what you'll get back. And so I know that Mr. Beast is a fairly large YouTuber, uh, um, does have quite a bit of this paper, but it is in a way knowing that that can also happen in part to you this idea of money flowing in and money flowing out and so that is in a way what the guides wanted to focus on not this idea of how much one has but how one uses this money as energy it's it flows but yes with that i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope it helped but yes with that much appreciation and yeah Goodbye! <laughs> oh, this is really close. <laughs> All right, y'all, I shifted the camera a little bit, so that should work. <laughs> All right, y'all, so you can find if, uh, oh, dang it.